Welcome to Mr. Baker Pants Plays Games. Today we are playing Summoner Wars. And yes, the game is in progress because it is the computer's turn. And we are starting the game in this view um, because the the views that um, set up the game are not optimized for high resolution. And so we kind of like, I like starting the, the video with the full screen being utilized. Oh yeah, this is Summoner Wars. And I was doing an audit before uh, I started doing this video, seeing which factions I have yet to kind of showcase on the channel. And the Breakers and the Savannah Elves are two that I have not done a video for, but every other faction either I've played or have played against. So I figured, you know what, let's, let's do this matchup, the Breakers. Now the Breakers, uh, the, you know, a lot of talk online, are they're, they're a fairly powerful faction the breakers um i think they have a pretty decent win win percentage uh they've been doing a lot of tournaments plaid hat's been doing a lot of tournaments and i think they've been kind of dominating especially when you do uh deck building i haven't done any deck building the only games that i've i've played online are um uh you know just with the the base decks because i'm trying to learn the factions and i feel like before you can start deck building you really need to understand how each faction works and how you can utilize some of those cards in other decks. But um, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. It looks like it's my turn. So Doug, the AI, uh, took his turn. And what's funny is before I started recording, I played against Doug a little bit with these two factions to kind of kind of understand how they play because they are kind of weird. Um, the Savannah Elves have some unique abilities and the Breakers have unique like control abilities where you can control um, other opponent's cards. Um, but Doug's opening play is vastly different this time than it was the last time. I think it's showing you that maybe there's something more to this AI than we than we believe. Because uh, talk online for that one is Doug is pretty pretty weak. But yeah, they, there's also they've been doing some updates to him, and and apparently he may be getting better. So we'll see. I've always had some problems playing against them. All right, so let's look at my cards. So they, unfortunately, um, they did kill one of my cards, uh, so I'm not going to be able to show it to you, one of my starting cards. I think it's a Mind mind Mage. I think it's a Mind Mage. Mind Mage uh, allows you to mimic the abilities, kind of like the Cloaks. We, you know, we played the Cloaks you know, a couple weeks ago. Um where any common or champion unit around them, I think it's a champion as well, um, you can actually mimic their abilities, which is kind of cool that you can do it for the opponent's cards too. Um, so against some matchups, like, you know, with that, you know, some matchups might have overpowered abilities, you can copy it with the Mind Mage. Uh, but this Archer uh, did take it out. Um, so then we also have the Deceiver as a starting unit. Um, what's great about them is they have this ability called Stupefy. Uh, which basically when your opponent rolls to attack them, if they roll any lightning bolts, then one damage is removed. So if they're rolling one die and they get one of those faces and they do no damage. Um, and then also it has that ability that anytime an adjacent unit is either moved or forced away from this unit, add one damage to it. Uh, which pairs very nicely with the Wind Mage. So if we zoom in on the Wind Mage, that has that, uh, that push ability. So after this unit attacks, instead of attacking, this unit may target a unit um, within two spaces and then force that target one space. So if you have a lot of these Deceivers around and then you have a Wind Mage kind of pushing people around either to and from uh, the Deceivers, you know, being able to stack damage like that, um, pretty cool. Um, yeah, pretty cool. And then, um, you know, here's the different abilities. So here's a control ability. So I'm allowed to control units, uh, with an event and I play it during the summon phase and we have hypnotic, which allows her to my summoner to, to pull units, uh, towards it. And then also, um, when it moves through, um, Oh, no, no, this is just pulling it too. There's another event where I can pull it like three spaces and each unit that, I, that the other unit goes through uh, also takes damage, which is really cool. You know, a lot of movement causing damage with this faction. Um, but no, this one's just like I, I get to pull something closer. And then when I attack that unit, um, I get plus one strength, which is pretty cool. 
So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so really, I should probably do a win mage. Um, not sure where I would put them. I'm not going to put them here because I want my summoner to do some damage. So I think I'll throw the wind mage here. So maybe the deceiver and the wind mage can kind of be a little combo. And then I might play this event. Yep, dismiss it. And then I'm gonna pull this one closer to me. To there. Because there's no benefit. Even though this is a range, there's no disadvantage of being a ranged character and then having someone adjacent. It's not that complex of a strategy game like that. And that way, um, target any number of enemy common champions with two spaces of your summer and take control of target. Okay. Yeah. I don't really want to do that right now. So, cause I want to kill. All right. So we're going to go ahead and skip this phase. I want to save some magic. Um, let's go to the move phase. So let's get the deceiver in there. Like that. And then let's do wind mage. You know, I think maybe we should throw her around like that. Get her out there. Um, she has 13 health, which is fairly high. So it's okay for her to take a few hits. We're going to summon... It actually might be beneficial to just throw this here. Kind of the opposite of what the computer did, which is kind of funny. All right, now we're going to go into attack phase. So obviously, let's get this in. We should be rolling four dice, and we are. So there we go. Four damage. Um, so now I could capture... So yeah, let's look at this. So I have mind capture. So when this unit attacks an enemy unit, if the damage added would be enough to destroy the target, you may ignore that damage and take control of the target. So I could take control of this. So this has, instead of moving this unit, you may boost it. Once per turn after this unit attacks, you may spend one boost to resolve an extra attack with it. I feel like this is... Pretty good. So yeah, let's go ahead and mind capture it. Um, Deceiver. Let's go ahead and hit that for one. Just one measly die. Do get the damage though. So on the dice, if you haven't if you haven't played this game, um, swords are more common than the ranged attack symbol. Um, so you know. Range attacks aren't as um, reliable as range, but range you get the benefit of being being able to attack with something far away. Um, oh, okay, so I don't understand how I can do push after this unit attacks. Instead of attacking, this unit may target a common champion within two. Oh, okay, so it's I'm targeting myself. Um, so I could push her up. don't see a reason so we're gonna go ahead and skip so now we're in the magic phase so this allows me to like discard cards um to build up my magic so i think that's fine we'll do three and the phase we'll draw back up we have a hand of fairly decent cards okay here's that mind witch oh mind witch not mind mage but th this was the one that, that got killed We'll talk about her when it's my turn. Right now, let's watch what Doug's going to do. So Doug actually got out a common. They do have a pretty beefy common unit with five health and trample. I don't want to interrupt Doug. I usually would like to, like, you know, uh, zoom in on the cards, but the AI does get stuck sometimes if you have, like, if there's a card in the way. and I don't know. I don't trust it. I don't want to, have to refresh the page. It is a web app. All right, so we're doing some movement. They're doing the AI is doing the weird must move all character or must use all movement. So it does a, a nonsense move. To me, I know it's going to always be a weak AI when it does that kind of move. It's basically just 
and you, they need to optimize the algorithms. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. Savannah doing what Savannah's do and just attacking me pretty heavy. Are you even trying? Yes, I am. All right. So, yeah, this has trample, so it has imbued speed. So it can actually move one extra space for each boost that it has in a maximum of five. So you just got to boost up this rhino. And then when it moves, it may move through commons. And after this unit moves, I have one damage for each common it moved through. Pretty Pretty crazy. So we got to kill that thing. All right. So we do get the summon. I think the archer is good because I get to roll four dice. Um, but mine, which at the start of your move phase, this unit may target a common within three spaces and it has the target abilities of the unit until the end of turn. So I could turn her into a rhino. Um, I do want to play control. So target any number of commons or champions within two spaces of your summoner and you can take control of the target until the end of your turn. So I could take control of the lioness. Once per turn after this unit attacks, an enemy unit boosts this unit. This unit has plus one life for each boost that has a maximum of five. So I could get in there and beat that guy up. So I think I am going to do that. I'm going to use the rhino or the lioness to destroy the rhino. And then I'm going to end the event. There's no more to control. And I think, do I want to do Mind Witch? I mean, this does cost. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to do this. Just the only reason I'm going to do it, because I want to I wanna kill this thing. And this gives me four dice to do it. And then I think I'll throw in a mine witch here. All right, so now Oh, okay, I'm doing my mimic ability. I'm like, what is going on? Um, mimic ability. I wish I could look at Should I do uh, Archer, Archer, I get uh, Swift Shot, um, Stupefy, right, because isn't it end of your turn? Ah, okay. Maybe I should have did something different. Um, what would Wind Mage have given me after this, you know, attacks of attacking the unit? Um, nah, I really don't have anyone worth, uh, I guess I got to copy it to her. But that wouldn't really helped me. All right, anyway, let's go to the move phase. So we're going to definitely move here. We're trying to kill that Rhino. And you know what? Let's put, oh, she's a, let's just put her here because she's arranged. I think. I'll do that. Build structures. Nothing to build. Now we got to do the attack. So got to take advantage of the lioness. Why we have her? Ooh, so juicy. All right, archer. Might as well. Rolling four dice because I would rather use that attack for something else. I really wish I could sh kill my own unit, but that's one of the rules that they added to the game. So can I push? Um, oh, I could push. I could push this back. Just get it away from me. Make her make her use a movement to get her close. I think that I think that's a good idea. Um, and then I think I'm gonna get rid of the mind witch and the deceiver. 
because I know there's some some pretty good champions in this deck. Oh, and then we got one seven and six, and oh, all of them in the same hand. That is not what you want. That is not what you want because uh, the only other way to get magic is killing stuff. I might boost that next turn. Oh, and my friend, the lioness, I just took control of you. Oh, okay. Building the wall. Oh, well, that's a weird spot for a wall. Never seen that move before. Putting one way, way back there like that. That is interesting. I don't know what this AI is doing. I really do wish that they had uh, better online support for this game for like real time multiplayer. It seems to be only turn based right now. I don't know. We'll check. I'll check after this video. Maybe they, maybe they changed it. All right, continue killing everything. Oh, now I got to kill the lioness. Dead. Yep. This is rough. I'm sure there's something that, huh? yeah. I'm sure there's something I'm missing with this faction. I'm just not doing the right stuff. All right, so we have mind control um, within two. Be nice if I could get, I'm gonna say, if I could save that, turn these cats against her. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do it. And I wish that I could be a little bit more like, Exciting, like maybe two units. It just seems like it's always going to be one. Um, let's put the wind mage here. We're going to end that. We're going to go into our move. You're going to go up and destroy your master. This is her summoner. And then... Could do a boost. So I'm going to do the prepare. I have one move left. I'm trying to decide if I should get my summoner out. Yes, yeah, get her out. I don't think I have any more control in my deck. Which is sad. I think I only get two of those. Nothing to build. Everything to attack. So obviously we gotta take this opportunity. Knock the summoner around. Oh yes, three. That is amazing. Um, let's do four dice against this guy. Maybe we can knock him out. We got four damage there. Awesome. We do have the push ability and then we do have this ability. I think I'm going to push the archer up because we do want to get her into the mix and they can shoot three spaces away. So getting her there means that I could probably prepare her and then attack with her. And I, man, it's going to hurt. Don't know which one I want to get rid of. So we'll get rid of none. All right, so here's that one event that I was talking about in the beginning of the game. So target common or champion within three spaces, and I can basically push them and force them through other characters and then deal one damage. So that's pretty awesome. All right, uh, target two friendly commons within three spaces of your summoner. Each of the target has all of the abilities of all other target. Discard this card if either target leaves the battlefield. Whoa, that's not cool. That is not Q. Your opponent is choosing. All right, so they're doing the chant of entangling. So hopefully they get this uh, knocked out. Dang. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. So they, they're basically, they have another lioness out there right now. Look at that. That is amazing. Honestly, look at that. All that. 
with this. Oh, man. Is this a combo? After this unit moves, either boost it or spend one boost to boost the friendly. Oh, man. Just boost, boost, boost. So then this has that same ability. What? Oh, man. This, th yeah, this needs to get, this just needs to go away. Oh. Okay, there we go. One hit, love it. <gasps> All right, summoner got hit a little bit. I'm not too worried about it. Walls down, that's fine. I got another one. I might throw that there so they can't surround my summoner. Um, do I really have nothing to summon? I, I guess I don't. Where, where does this go? Oh, the move phase. So here, I could do a move. We're going to prepare that um this guy's almost dead so let's just throw him there she's fine where she's at i believe we're gonna throw him back here and i think i want to do blast because blast is us oh, okay target a common or champion within three straight spaces of your summoner force the target one to three spaces it doesn't say what direction it may be forced through common or champions and through common or champions add one okay so if i move one two three That might be what I want to do. So that's blast. Dismiss it. Select this thing. We're going to force. Why? That's weird though. Why didn't it? It doesn't say. Hang on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Undo. Undo. Does it, it it was like, okay. Target a common champion within three straight spaces of your summoner. Force the target one space. Force the target one to three spaces. It may be forced through commons or champions. Add one damage to the target and to each of the units that was it was forced through. I mean, that's a little frustrating because I thought I could go like this. I didn't realize it was a force. It has to be forced three, you know, straight lines. That's a little, a little annoying. Um, okay. Well, maybe I'll save blast. Now I could throw that there and be a turtle. Or I could throw that there. I think I'm going to throw that there so I can't be surrounded. All right, now I'm going to go on the attack. So I am going to attack with her. I'm not too worried about her yet. Okay. All right, and then I am going to do the double attack to get rid of this. Got one. And then I'm going to do it again. Oh, man. And I could do a force push. I think I want to push this away to here. And then for my magic... Man, it kills me. I think I'm going to have to get rid of one of these. I don't think I care about flying right now. So this one has greater push. 
might be helpful. This one's definitely going to be more helpful. After this unit attacks an enemy card, this unit may target a friendly common within three spaces. The target resolves an extra attack. Um, so I think I'll get rid of this champion. It, it, it does hurt to do that, but I got to I got to try to get something going. Um, Tempest, I'll probably trash that for magic. Archer, trash her for magic. And then I'll finally have enough. I kind of wish that Blast happened after I, c I could push people around. Because then I could, like, I could push people in to where I wanted and then blast them to through. Like, stack them up and then knock them down, like I'm bowling. All right, I knew that was coming. I'm not too worried about it. They, you know, they have two life. I can also summon something right here if I if I got too nervous about it. I could put the archer there. Even though I did say I wanted to trash the archer for magic, but maybe I don't. All right, all right. Pick on the old wind mage. See ya. All right, so she, okay, so now she's down to 10. Still not nervous. So I am going to throw the archer there. I know I'm probably going to be able to knock that person out. Not going to summon anything else. Blast. I could do one, two, three. That would definitely kill it if I did that. So I could play the event. I think I would be I think I would end up hurting my own. Let's see. Yep. I'm okay with that though. And then we'll throw her up there. Yeah, and then I think I'll throw her there and I could summon lock that wall or I could get this guy out maybe I'll do that okay and then nothing to build everything to attack so I'm definitely going to try to I'm rolling four dice against the summoner okay two's not bad it's not bad down to five um, what is going on? Did the game freeze? Oh no. Did the game freeze? Yeah. So, okay. So I'm going to click the X click button, go back in the single player standard game, continue. It's going to load in. And here we are. So that, that attack did happen. I have two attacks left. So if you are playing this game, it you know, it's it's not perfect. There's there's a bug. We got one. We got a bug. All right. Um. So yeah, definitely going to attack here. If I miss, I do have a second chance. Awesome. Dead. I could attack with her again, but I'm going to go ahead and move on. I could... Could I push something? There's something to push. Yeah, nothing to push. Uh, so I guess I'll just attack this wall with my summoner. Oh, okay. That's actually a pretty good attack. And nothing else left. So we're going to go ahead and end the phase. And we will... Now, this is interesting. I could... You know, all units move one fewer spaces. Yeah, let's do it. But I kind of got them pushed back pretty far. So they're going to summon. And then hopefully they don't. You know, they're not going to be able to. Do a lot of clever movement. Uh, no discarding. What's hypnotic? Oh yeah. Towards the summoner. That's right. And I got another blast. All right. Okay, so that's just telling me what the event is that I have in play. 
But yeah, I mean, you saw how like I, I faced the bug and the game was able to recover. I mean, this is a really great implementation of Summoner Wars Second Edition. Really love it a lot. I know my, these videos that I do aren't as exciting as my Hero Realms videos because this this game requires a little bit more thinking. I, I've noticed that you know the the games where I can kind of do things based on instinct and I don't have to like think too deeply about like long-term strategy uh kind of make for better videos so if you are sticking around for this uh, you know this is probably a good opportunity for you to like and subscribe i plan to play this game at least on the channel once a week because i do enjoy it and you know even though these videos may not you know perform well you know uh people do watch them i mean i do get a decent you know watch rate when it does find the, the target audience of people who love summon rewards um, so I plan to continue to make these videos and I think I'll get better at them as I get more familiar with the factions and how the cards work. I think, you know, the videos will get a little bit faster and a little bit more interesting. Um, you know, so it's a, it's a learning experience. I mean, getting out there and putting yourself out there and making content is really the first step. Uh, and then each time you do it, you get better. So if you're watching my videos and you're like, this guy sucks, he has terrible commentary about summon rewards. Well, this is my invitation to you to get out there and make some better videos than me. Do it. I, I want you to do it. Because the reason I'm making these videos is because I wanted content like this. And no one else was doing it. I'm trying to think if I should like move her back. Should I get a little scared about this? I don't know. I don't know. I am I am getting a little nervous. I'm not going to lie about my summoner and the situation that she is finding herself in. Um So I I think I'll go. I'll just do that. I don't know. I think I, I just don't feel good about it. I guess I could do blast and then get that. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do blast. Right. So I'm going to hit play. Dismiss it, grab her, throw her there. So she's going to take a damage, right? Just for the movement. And then, um, she's away from my summoner. And then this dude can, can take care of it. Okay. Actually, you know what? Am I able to undo? Because I feel like I had a better opportunity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Blast. I love undos. I'm going to play Blast. Move her over there. Take the damage. Then, um, no other cards to force, which is fine. End the event. Move her up. Lock that gate down just in case I can't destroy it. Then no one else to move. Go ahead and end. See, this is a way better move. I'm glad I undid this. Nothing to build. Everything to attack for. So now I'm going to do Wind Mage against the Archer. One damage. Um. Oh, well, I can still push. After this unit attacks, or instead of attacking. Okay. So I could push her away. Which I might do. And then... I'm going to attack up here. Hopefully killing the wall, which I did. Um, I, I do have a tough choice. Um, I could try to do here or here. I feel like... I mean, the lioness is getting super annoying. And the three attack with the sword is definitely more, um, like, reliable. Because there's more swords on the dice than... So I feel like the lioness is the, is the bigger threat. Okay. 
Why did that not work? Why did why did that go to zero? I'm not sure. All right, let's go ahead and end the phase. Magic. Do I want to do hypnotic? Is hypnotic just champions? Yeah. So I don't think I see a big use for that. All right, let's see what happens. I, I, I'm definitely being fairly aggressive. Um, I wish I had a nice, he's trying to, they're, they're, they're trying to get behind. I, I know what they're doing. They're trying to get behind my summoner. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to keep the pressure on. I, I really have no way out of this. So I think my only hope is to get the pressure on. Throw the deceiver behind my summoner. Oh man, that's a lot of dice. That's a lot of dice. Um, what do I have? When this unit attacks an enemy unit. Oh yeah. The computer is doing, I don't know if it's like on purpose, but the computer's doing a pretty good job keeping like weak units away from my summoner or I'm just not doing enough to get them in a situation where I can can take over. Um I do want to get the archer out there. All right, let's think. Yeah, let's do archer. I'm giving up on my champions honestly. I I don't think I'm going to be able to get them out. We're going to do mind witch. Then we're going to go to move phase. Oh yeah, I get the mimic. I think I'm going to mimic um, I think I'm going to mimic this guy because I want her to be another pusher. All right. So we're going to move here, move the deceiver behind. That way I can only get maybe targeted by this. I could try to get, is this within two spaces? So I could do that and then try to push her away from the deceiver like that. And then I think then I could roll the dice to damage. Okay, after this unit is a unit after this unit attacks or instead of attacking this unit may target a common chamber. Okay, so I don't have to target the the unit that I attack. So I could go here. Attack that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's actually not going to be helpful up to two spaces one two yeah okay well then yeah i don't want to move that and then i don't want to push i want to attack all right that's worth it and then Maybe push Mind Mage here. How many cards I've left in my deck? Six. So I definitely want to keep some magic. Draw. Okay. Ah, that's that's not what I wanted to see. So yeah, I probably lost. I was being a little too aggressive. Um, but you know, I thought maybe get in there, put the pressure on. 
Um, you know, next turn I could have won if I got three hits. But whatevs. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a pretty guaranteed win right there. Four dice. You know, with the the five. And then, what? Oh, okay, yeah. Doug doing the weirdness. Must move three units no matter what. All right, then we got some boosting going on. Oh, ouch. Does that do anything with the boost? If those unit attacks, you may spend either a boost or one magic. If you do, force the unit with... Oh, why, why would I need the... What, what are they forcing? All right, here we go. Five dice. Three hits. Okay, so now the lion. The lion. Come on, Doug. There we go. They won. <laughs> it was like, Doug, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I didn't get to see that last attack. But yeah, the Savannah Elves were victorious. I was a little too aggressive. You know, it wasn't until later in the game that I realized that I wasn't using my summoner's ability to its fullest. Um, you know, I think you really do need to get out there and kill those common and champion or, you know, those common units. Um, I wish I could go back to the board, um, but I really wish I could go out there and kill those like common units and then take them over because, you know, I've played this online against other humans and it's like, man, that is tough. Like you, you try to get some units around that summoner and, you know, the breaker summoner and then like you lose control of them like so quickly. I feel like the Savannah elves are a pretty decent matchup against that though, because they do have common units that are really high in health. So, you know, you have maybe one or two turns before you could potentially lose them, uh, which I think is really good. So I think maybe I just happened to stumble upon a fairly decent matchup, you know, Savannah Elves versus the the Breakers. Um, but I also think that I really did play them poorly. So, hey, if you're still here, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to be continuing to, to kind of showcase Summoner Wars because it is a game that's in active development. And my goal is to get people excited about this game. You know, they see me playing it. Uh, they think, hey, I could do better. They start playing it. You know, Plat Hack continues to make money. This is a profitable endeavor for them. They keep making this better and better. They have talked about, you know, creating an actual you know, downloadable Steam version and potentially an iOS and Android version as well. You know, but since they are a small development team, they are working on the PWA version, which is pretty cool because like any device that you have with a web browser, you can play Summoner Wars. Uh, so there's no reason why you shouldn't play it. They do have, I think, a free tier where you might be able to play with like one or two free factions so like you can try this out. And then I think it might be like, five bucks a month or three bucks a month um, your subscription and that kind of unlocks everything. They are kind of doing that subscription model, which I, th I think it's worth it. I mean, you can stop and start it, you know, but, but they, you know, they're a small company, a small team. The subscription model allows them to have that like re reoccurring revenue stream. And so they can kind of like plan out, you know, what their future revenue will be for this game. And then they're able to kind of continue to develop it. So, I know some people hate paying money for stuff, but honestly, you have to pay money to get great things. So, uh, you know, please support these games. That goes for Hero Realms, that goes for Summoner Wars, Dominion. You know, we have to support these companies or they're not going to be able to create this great, great content for us. So anyway, thank you all for listening, and I will be coming back with more Summoner Wars content soon. Thank you for sticking around this long, and I will see you next time.